All right, guys, it is Wednesday afternoon. I have spent the entire day working on my women's gift guide. I just finished filming it and it is 1.40. I had to pull all of, all of the products. I had to set up the lights in my office. That's where I'm sitting right now. I had to get links for all of the products. And then I also had to just grab everything from around my house. So I finally just finished. I thought it'd be fun to kind of share behind the scenes of how much work goes into creating a video because I put out a ton of content and I feel like it just looks like, you know, a simple video. So I figured if any of you are interested, you can, we'll do a little segment right now of what goes into making a video. So I already put away about half of the stuff, but I'm just gonna give you an overview of my office right now. I have to put everything away and then we can move on with like the back end of the video. Like I said, I already put away about half of the stuff, but I do need to put away all three of my lights and then all of these gifts. I need to put all of this stuff away. So that is first, and then we can import the two hours of footage that I have from filming this morning. I wish I had started filming this video before I filmed my gift guide, but that's okay. We're gonna go back in time really quickly. So the first step of coming up with a video is figuring out what type of video it's going to be. So this was my women's gift guide. I knew I was going to do it. So the first thing I wanted to do was start collecting items. So in a note in my phone, I just started writing down different ideas. Like as ideas came to me, I just started thinking about different items that I really like as I used something, whatever the case may be. So that was the first step. And then I had to nail down exactly what that was, like an eyeshadow palette, which palette would I recommend out of all of the other palettes, etc. Once I have all of the products that I want to include in my video, then it's like day of, what do I do? So this morning I started working on this video around 9.30. I had to put the finishing touches on my men's gift guide that went live today. So that happened first. And then around 9.30, I took a shower and then I did my makeup, I did my hair, I chose what I wanted to wear for the video. And then I had to move all of my lighting from my filming room into here, into my office, cause I wanted to film in front of the Christmas tree. So I had to sit and adjust all of my lighting. Then I had to go around the house and grab all of the products I wanted to talk about. And then make sure that my cameras are charged, all the things, set up my camera, and then just get my notes out, make sure that I have everything and that I filmed. Filming took about an hour and a half or so, maybe a little bit longer. I have a lot of products, so it just took a bit. And then actually it took longer than that because that was when, when I was sitting down and talking. And then after that, I had to film the close-ups of each product in front of the tree. So that was probably an extra like 20 or so minutes. And then I just cleaned everything up, put the lights back away. And now is the process of, I have to import the footage into my laptop, into iMovie, and then start editing. So I will take you through that process. I'm not going to edit it right now. I'm actually going to head to the gym. I promised myself this morning that I would do this video and make sure that it was done and good to go, knowing that I was going to get ready, put makeup on and everything, and then go to the gym and then shower and like, start over again. I just, it's one of those things. This is like one of the downfalls of what I do is sometimes I have to get ready twice in a day, which is such a first world problem. I realize it's not a big deal. It's just part of the job. And I think that a lot of people don't realize that even just the time that you spend doing your hair and makeup is part of this job and part of creating video content. So I'm going to go to the gym, <laughs> work out, sweat my makeup off, mess up my hair, and then I'm gonna come home, shower, and probably start editing this video. And as soon as I start doing the back end of it, I will share that with you guys as well. I'm home from the gym and I am freezing. Uh, I just imported all of the footage from this morning from my video. So now that it's on my computer, I can start editing it. So I'm going to start that process now. Home. 
and we're going to make this garlic lemon garlic steak zoodle dish I don't know if I've made it on here or not, but I also didn't realize until I got home from the grocery store that one of the zucchinis I got seems very soft. Do you think that this is okay? <laughs> it feels like it's full of jelly. No. Should I cut it open to see what it looks like? No. Why? <laughs> it's literally just like totally soft. So I think we're, we're down to three zucchinis, but that's okay, right? And it's supposed to be four. Adam's gonna cook the steak, he always does the meat, and I'm going to turn these into zoodles. The recipe we put in this, I just shared this in my gift guide. I don't know if that video is up yet, but if it is, I will link it for you guys. But this is the meal that we're doing. And Adam did some illustrations on this one too. We read online that if you um, push down and try and get all of the excess moisture out, it helps the zoodles not be soggy. That's one of like the biggest complaints about zoodles. So I always try and like squeeze all of the extra moisture out of them. It is a few days later and I'm editing this and realized that I never followed up on creating my gift guide. So after I edited that first day, I just did a rough cut edit and then later that night I did some editing on the video. And then once the video is edited, which editing that one, since I had so much footage and everything, it took a bit. And then I had to do all the inserts of all the photo or all the video clips of the up close products. So all in all, that editing it took me a while. So I probably spent like three or so hours on editing, then I had to export it and upload it, which also took a long time. I had so many issues trying to upload it because when you have a big file like that, a lot of times it's really hard on your internet. I don't have so many internet issues. And then I had to make the thumbnail. I had to do the description box and link all of the products and then set it live. So all in all, that took about, I would say 10 hours from idea, gathering facts, info, all of that, filming, editing, uploading, cleaning up, setting up, getting ready, all of it. So all of that for like one 30 minute video, which is crazy. So yeah, when you guys see content creators producing a lot of content. Just know that tons and tons of hours go in behind the scenes and you'll never know. You'll never see it because all of it gets cut down into like a very small amount of content that you actually see. All right, back to the video. Last time I saw you I was eating and now I am making food again. It is 3.30 and I'm making lunch. I've been so busy today. So I'm making this. I don't know if you guys have tried bonza pasta. I have not, but I figured, I just saw this, the mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. And I saw that they had mac and cheese and I figured this would be a good like stepping stone into it in case it doesn't taste that good. Uh, just because the cheese would hopefully like cover the taste. So I'm gonna try it out. I will let you guys know how it is. I also got a couple of packages. I just came into my office and I'm going to open them up. All right, the first one is from Amazon. I think that this is more of the um, inventory bins. I ordered more of them. Yeah, I think that that's what this is. Okay, so this is them. I had a bunch of them that I showed you guys in my office reorganization. 
so I have 12 more of them to put more with Love Sarah inventory away. So that is all that was in this box. All right, this box I'm really excited about. It is, if you guys have been watching all of my vlogs, I unboxed a handbag a while ago and I wasn't totally into the colors. And so I ended up ex exchanging it and that's what this is. And I had to wait because the color that I wanted was just the super neutral color and it was back ordered. So it comes with, <laughs> this is so hard to get out. Okay, it comes in this huge box and then it comes like bubble wrapped and in a dust bag. Okay, so this is the dust bag. It's from Teddy Blake and this is the bag. It's a bucket bag. This is so pretty. So on the inside, on the inside, it's this really pretty blush color, of course. And then it also has this little wristlet attached that is a little zip pouch. Oh, and that is the blush pink on the inside too. So it's the camel color with the blush. This is so pretty and the strap is adjustable but I think that this is so cute. It's so different than anything that I have. So definitely love that. I'm so excited to wear this. I will style it for you guys. And then I have my camera set up on the last box. So let me rearrange. Sometimes I swear filming is just going from finding a random thing to hold your camera up to finding another random thing to hold your camera up. I have it on a tiny tripod, but it's not big enough to set on the floor. It's big enough to set like, on the table. Okay, this is another Amazon package that I placed an order two days ago. And these are auto sensor sleep aid night lights. And so I think I've said before, um, my bedroom is upstairs and I don't have a bathroom upstairs, so I have to come downstairs, but there's like pie shaped stairs. So I have to turn the corner and go down the stairs every single night to go to the bathroom because I cannot sleep through the night without peeing. So I wanted to get something like this. These are little night lights that plug in, but the light, there's not a, oh yeah. There's a little photo. The light around it is more like yellowy orange. And so it doesn't wake up your brain. So then you can go back to sleep more easily. So I got a little two pack. I will link these down below in case you're interested. Also, they come in yellow and then they come in red. So these ones are the yellow ones. I'll show you guys what they look like plugged in, but I'm excited to try these on, try these out. And it looks like on the top, you can turn it on, off or auto. I think I would turn it just on. Maybe I would turn one of them on auto, but I'm thinking one of them will probably go in the room that's straight across from the stairs. So I wouldn't necessarily pass by it. I don't know. And then maybe one in the bathroom. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know what I think about them. And then the other thing I got is so popular. This is the Allure Hair Waver. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Instagram. Does this not give you like 1998 vibes? I am so excited to test it out. So I'm gonna try that out too. I might do a video if it ends up working out. Okay, my pasta I think is done. All right, this is what it looks like. When I was straining it, I know I'm gonna sound crazy right now, but it smelled like Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know why. Okay. This is what the light looks like in the bathroom. So when the light is off, this night light is on. And then if you turn the light on, obviously the night light turns off. So I really like it. It really actually gives the bathroom, you can't really tell in here, but it actually is much lighter. So you can see and go to the bathroom without the light actually on. All right guys, it is Friday. I can't remember if I followed up after I tried that Bonza mac and cheese, but it was pretty good. Um, it doesn't taste just like pasta for sure, 
so if you're expecting that you'll be disappointed but i do think it was good and it kind of got like the craving of mac and cheese out of my system in a healthier way so i definitely would recommend it if you're open to something not tasting identical to what the like original one does um but it's friday i got more of the bins of inventory stuff i'll just show you so i said i was getting more of these bins so i got them i'm going to start working on putting the inventory in them so i'll show you guys what my shelves look like when that is done and then i also got a package in the mail from elemis and i wanted to open it up with you guys it just says happy holidays Please find some of our holiday offerings enclosed. Oh, this is like the booklet of all of their little holiday packs. Um, I don't think they, there's definitely not all of them in here. There's four of them. So this is the Pro Collagen Day and Night Duo. Oh my gosh, I love their marine cream. It is so good. So that's cool. This is a Joyful Glow Candle. Bring a festive Fest, bring a soft festive glow to your home with the warming or aromatics of vanilla, orange, and cinnamon. That sounds delicious, actually. I had no idea that Elemis made candles. I feel like I said the same thing last year when, was it Origins, I think, came out with candles, and I was like, oh, who, who knew that that brand had a candle? Oh, it's like, it's sealed. You can still smell it, though. It smells amazing. And the packaging is really festive. I think that looks so cute. But it has like this little um, seal on top. This one is kind of one of the ones that looks like a little ornament. And it has Peptide 24-7 Star Duo. Oh, it has like little baby guys of the Peptide Plumping Pillow, Pillow Facial. I love this. It's the night cream I'm using right now. And then the day cream. And last but not least, is this one this is really cute too peptide for dream duo oh this is the day cream and then a night recovery cream oil i haven't tried this that looks cool so thank you so much to elemis for sending over these little gifts for me i really really appreciate it i'm excited to try the stuff i haven't tried before their stuff is just so freaking good so i'm going to show you guys um once i get my stuff organized all right, this is what it's looking like so far. These are all wrap bracelets. And then down here, we have all of our bracelet stacks, friendship bracelets, and then these still need to figure out. I don't know exactly what's gonna go in here. I decided to do multiple colors in these, all of the friendship bracelets, so I had extra ones. Um, but I still have a bunch of things that don't have homes. And the only metal item in here is the Starburst necklace. I have like three of them left. So I want to do a couple of the necklaces and rings and stuff in here too. So, so far though, it is looking very, very efficient. It's amazing what having a more organized office has done. I have spent so much more time in here. It makes me so happy. I just am so glad that I organized it. So yeah, anyway, that is the end of this week's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. We're actually going to see the Christmas tree lighting in Detroit tonight. So we're going to be vlogging that. It'll be coming up soon. So definitely subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.